The first thing I'm thinking, like, whoa, what is this? Pastor Monzel Ford says as he was sleeping one night last week, his home surveillance camera motion detector kept going off. So from bed, he pulled out his phone and looked at the living room. This orb, this imagery just hovering in my living room. No one else was there. It wasn't a flashlight or passing headlights. And Pastor Ford thinks it was too big to be a dust particle. He walked into the living room watching the live feed on his phone. But when I went out there, I couldn't physically see what I'm looking at in the live feed. So now I'm like, whoa. The orb came and went for hours. At one point, splitting into several shapes. That's when I'm like, nope, 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 nope. Something's going on here, something's going on here. Pastor Ford has been haunted by some of the things he's seen as police chaplain and while working his own street ministry. But nothing has spooked him quite like this. If it's physical, I can stand it, I can challenge it, I can approach it, I can deal with it. But when we talk about things that just floating and disappearing. This man of faith says the odd occurrence has certainly led to a lot of spirited debate. But so far, he has no certain explanation. If I know what something is, I'm okay. But it's the unknown thing that throws me off. We asked Pastor Ford if he and his family are comfortable staying in their house with all this going on. He says they're certainly not about to give up their house. However, they're more than willing to give up the ghost. In Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News. First of all. <laughs>